hello and welcome to bliss energy how's everyone doing today today is wednesday september 23rd and we want to know what is the message they have for us today on this beautiful day we are in the second day of fall it's such a like nice crisp fresh air you know i love fall it's one of my favorite seasons and also um spring when everything is coming into fruitation you know everything is blooming so yes let's get started what is the message you have for us today we ask our spirit guide the source our higher self to give us an accurate read this morning okay Oh, okay. They got something for us to say. They got something to say, should I say. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, we hear you. Let me see you. Okay. Oh, okay. All right. Let's go. They are on the table. Let's cut this deck. Okay. First card that flew out was the page of Gabrielle. Okay, follow your passion. Follow your passion. The page of Gabrielle is here. Follow your passion. Okay? You are ready for any challenge, opportunity for excitement and adventure. Let's go. The moon is here. Why are we... What's wrong? The moon is here. The opportunity is to improve your plans. Listen to your intuition for accurate guidance. Face your fears grow stronger follow your passion face your fears and grow stronger this is the opportunity this opportunity is going to improve okay this is a fire car page of gabrielle is a fire car that means put the speed on it you ready ready for anything that comes your way okay let's check out the other cards on the table queen of ariel is here that's what i'm talking about full of abundance full of abundance once you follow your passion, okay, you follow your passion, listen to your intuition for accurate guidance, guess what? Nurture yourself and those, those you love. The ability to make anything more beautiful, practical, and wise advice. The, pay, the, the queen of pentacles here, full of abundance, in her glory, Okay? We got the four Ariel here, okay? When you give, you also receive. Being resistant to change. Extreme in how you save or spend money. Okay? And then we also have the ten of Raphael. Love and blessings fulfill your life. Harmonious relationship with family members. Happily ever after. Okay, so we're going to go to the queen of Ariel. Okay. Here we go. Nurture yourself and those you love. There is a need for equal time with pe the people you care about the most. Practical and wise advice should be freely offered or accepted. You may see the truth clearly with those around you don't. You excel at taking care of others, but don't forget to take care of yourself. You have the gift of being able to make anything more beautiful. People, a person who is giving and generous, someone who always knows the right thing to do and helps out happily. An admirer of luxury items. Mature, practical, warm, and kind. Additional meaning to this card. The balance between function and beauty. A big heart. A talent. Gardener. Okay. Nourish yourself. Nourish yourself. I'm getting a sense like, you know, because we get so busy, caught up with, you know, moving forward with our plans. We forgot to, we forget to take care of ourselves, you know? Yes, that's the sense I'm getting. 
Mm -hmm. Poor Ariel, let me come here. Poor Ariel, when you give, you also receive. Being resistant to change, extreme in how you save or spend your money. Okay. So, we have the queen that's right here. And then we have the four uh, Ariel right here. Okay. When you give, you also receive. First, this card is a reminder that financial gain and resources are to be shared. When you prosperity, when you prosper, it's is held on too tightly it can make a person close off and therefore block connection to future abundance okay that's that's the sense i'm getting you know like because the queen of, queen of ariel's here is she's full of abundance you know she's like nourishing herself and those around her because she has it you know so treat yourself you know, because here we are with the four Ariel. It says, when you give, you also receive. So don't be scared to spend the money because it's going to come back to you. You get it? Okay, let's keep going. When when prosperity is held on too tightly, it can, it can make a person close off, therefore block connection to future abundance. If someone has been blessed with great resource, this car can be a reminder to donate to charities and worldly cause. On the other half, extreme, it can indicate that someone has been too careless with money. There is a need to review how to spend or to get debt under control. This card isn't just about money and finance, but also be about what is it? Ex expectation of energy and emotion. Oh, okay. Don't be fear-based thoughts limits your action. Be willing to share whatever talents and gifts you have with those around you. Additional meaning to this card, control issue, saving for a rainy day, holding on to the present, resistant change, okay? So yes, don't be afraid to let go, because guess what? It's coming back in many folds, 10 folds, 20 folds, it's coming back. There's no need to be tight anymore. And that's not only like with your finances, it'll say your energy and also your mind. Free up your mind. Because if you don't free up your mind, it's, it, it's going to be hard for you to, to free up your energy, your love, your finance. Okay? Nourish yourself because you are loved. The moon is here. This is why the moon is here. So you can face yourself. Okay? Face your fears. Grow stronger. That's just what the moon is about. Ten and Raphael. Because love and blessings is going to fulfill your life. That's why we have the Ten and Raphael here. Okay? To let you know you are good. Love and blessings fulfill your life. This is a beautiful moment where it seems as though you have it all. Your family is loving and happy. You may still work hard. But there is a feeling of satisfaction and peace when you come home. Your relationship with your children and family members are peaceful and harmonious. Relation can be a lot of work, but they are worth it. Your hopes and dreams are within reach. It is a beautiful home life you're seeking. You're on the right path. Additional meaning to this card. Happy romantic partnership, trust, world, new relationship, the end of stress. Happily ever after. That's what I'm talking about. No stressing here. This whole row. No stressing. No stressing on this floor, on this board. Let's go. That's what I'm talking about. Tenant Ariel's here. There's so... There is so very much to be grateful for. Financial success and the promise of retirement, a rich and rewarding family life. Again, family life, family life, right behind each other. This is what I'm talking about. Love and blessings fulfill your life. Harmonious relationship with family members. There is so much to be grateful for. Financial success and the promise of retirement, a rich and rewarding family life. Okay, this is, this is. This is beautiful. This is it. This is what we're talking about. Now you have it all. There is so very much to be grateful for. You've been financially successful and no longer worry about money. That's what I'm talking about. Let it go. Free it up. There is rich richness to living and it's all about of how diligent you work to get where you are. Your family life has become one of the greatest blessings in your life. You may define family as your birth family or perhaps you have a chosen family with bonds that are just as strong as or stronger. 
there is great love and support around you. You understand what really matters and from that knowledge comes peace. Additional meaning of this card, happily ever after, community, family trees, long-term investment. That's what I'm talking about. Right? Happily family life. Living your abundance life. Everybody's is happy. <laughs> We're still going through the phrases of still shedding. Still. This is the intel of all of this. Right? In the meantime, we're feeling good about it. With our friends, our family. You know, we have to be more passionate when we see people going through their own thing. You know? Yes, let's go. Page of Raphael. That's what I'm talking about. New emotional situation. A message regarding relationship or social invite. Great intuition insight. So listen to yourself. This is a tuition card right here. Okay? Yes. This is a hearing your intuition, following your 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 heart, following your heart, your passion, what your higher self is telling you. Let's go. Change your life. That's what I'm talking about. Your life has changed. There's no going back to the old life. A sudden revelation that offers freedom. Break free of procrastination. Embrace the opportunity that brings on your change. Your life is changing. Change your life. I'm going to read this. The last card of the deck. Change your life. It is time to change your life. This card represents a need to leave behind old belief system and ways of doing things that have become stale and out of date. When this card presents itself, the universe is telling you that you are no longer procrastinating on making the changes you know in your own heart you need to make. Suddenly, everything is crystal clear to you. Change is available. If, you, if you're to grow and evolve, embrace this new direction in your life as liberating and exciting. You you needed, needed not go through this transformation alone. Our angel Shemel can help you find the new path and meaning in your life that you long for. Additional meaning to this card: awakening, a sudden a sudden revelation that offers freedom, unexpected transformation, life experience, change of love. That's it. And that's exactly what a, a lot of us has done, has changed our life, okay? We put the work in. Okay, we got the queen again. <laughs> okay, you can do anything right now. Go after what you want, the ability to track helpful people. The queen is here again. She's been showing up on our spread all week because we have what it takes. We are in our power, okay? That's why the queens are showing up on the table all this week. Queen of Ariel, full of abundance, in her power. Okay? And when I and again I, I like to to say when we talk about the queen, we're talking about the energy. We're not talking about you being female, male, the energy of the queen, Gabrielle and Ariel. Showing up on the deck all the time. I love it. Let's go pull from the neurology deck give it a nice little shuffle here ask if there's any additional message any additional messages for us any additional message any additional message you have for us okay nothing's popping out okay I'm going to pull from Nothing's popping out from here. Don't have a message from here. But I have a deck here I'm looking at. Let's go. Let me, oh, excuse me. Excuse me for all the noise. Okay. Let's go. Let's ask for the message from the Gala Oracle deck. An earthly message that we can possibly get. Give it a good shuffle. We ask the spirits to give us a message. 
Okay. So I'm gonna deck a little bit here. We're gonna cut the deck as well. Unless one flies out. <laughs> okay. What is the message you have for us here? One more shuffle. Okay. See, so he's trying to fly out. Let's cut the deck though. Okay. Let's go. Oh. What is the message? Hidden path, the marriage of spirit and matter. Can you see that? You see that? The eye of Ra, the Ankh, and the sun. Okay, let's see what the message is. Okay. Hidden, hidden path, the marriage of spirit and matter. You have traveled far in search of greater meaning and fulfillment. Having made much progress and learning valuable lessons, you want to continue your journey, but the road seems to have come to an end. Where do you go from here? The symbolic image on this card is set within a magical forest. It seems inviting, yet the way forward is not clear. The physical path exists, however, there is a way forward. Between the trees is a symbol of symbol for eternal life, and to the right a symbol for healing and protection. This card is inviting you to move forward spiritually and offers you healing and protection along the way. Spirit and matter must now merge if true progress is to be made. Your rational mind must align with your heart. When heart and mind are both focused on the same goal, great things are possible. This is true spiritual alchemy. All your work towards can now be achieved. Affirmation, my heart and mind are a perfect alignment. My heart's desire and my thoughts are one. I am a spiritual being in a physical body. The journey ahead is filled with light. The light of my soul illuminates my path. Ashe. Ashe, Ashe. That's what I'm talking about. Okay? Mind and body and heart. Okay? This card is inviting you to move forward spiritually and offers you healing and protection along the way. Because we are all still in our healing. We're still healing. Okay, we still, you know, figuring it out. Even though we know we here, we still in the healing, still in the healing part. Okay, we have to come in alignment with our heart desire and our mind. It's like a connection. All right. That's why we have got the page of Gabrielle. Follow your passion. Okay? You are ready for the challenge. And then right next to it, the passion, right next to it is the moon. That's dealing with our emotions. Okay? Listen to your intuition. Face your fear. Grow stronger. Right? All right. I'm going to leave it there. This was a very interesting read, I must say, this morning. You know, because we still we still have our little healing, even though we we harvesting, you know, our 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 new life. We still doing our own soft healing, you know, because we're just coming out of this war <laughs> with self. <laughs> so we're still picking up from that, you know. So we have to give ourselves a little bit more compassion, love ourselves a little bit more, treat ourselves. Yes. Okay, so I'm going to end it there. And till then, we'll talk. Take care.